what you can do right now as a kid who's interested in IT, because that's, that's the important part. How can you get out there and get working and get using that brain um, to help you move forward later? Um, so here's some things that um, are really helpful. And that's, um, first of all, if you have an old computer laying around, which I think a lot of us do nowadays, and if not, maybe safety net can help you with that because um, we do recycle some. So um, take it apart, see what's inside of it. Um, obviously you wanna be safe and make sure an adult's around and knows what, you know, they're to help um, and not have it plugged in, but Google how it works and what the pieces are inside that you find and just um, kind of look up like, oh, what's this? And figure out how it works. Um, a big thing in IT is troubleshooting issues. So um, everyone in their home at one point or another has something go wrong with their technology. So what you can do to help is, and you can probably help your parents because most of you probably know um, a little bit more even than your parents. But um, let's say your Wi-Fi is not working or your dad's computer has an error, just um, Google it. Um, Google what that error means and see if you can help fix it. Um, a little secret about the technicians is that most of them don't know those errors by heart or know how to solve your problems right off the bat. We actually just look it up on Google and find the answer. So some of it's investigating and you can most certainly start doing that now. Um, huge guys, especially nowadays, there are so many groups for STEM um, and classes at your school, events at the library, even local IT companies will often um, have events. Get involved with those, join those groups, check them out, listen to blogs, um, tune into Newton's Road, um, and read information that keeps you up to date on the current IT news. Um, you could even check out websites like SafetyNet's website has information that keeps you up to date um, on the news uh, for IT. So uh, read, read people's websites and stay in the loop. Um, always ask questions and then look them up online if you don't know them. Um, and a big one for you guys, especially I'm pushing my sixth grader right now to do it, is get comfortable on the phone. Uh, not just to your friends um, or not just talking through the mic on a video game, but uh, order your own pizza or see if your mom will let you make or your dad will uh, make, let you make your own appointment if you have it coming up. Um, just to get used to talking to people on the phone because when you're working in IT, you're always working with a user for the most part. So you do want to be able to uh, talk to them um, and get comfortable on the phone. So uh, next time, don't use the app. Just pick up the phone, try calling, see how that works.